Hi, this is Dodge with Vinox, showing you how to put a, together an arrow concept system, target arrow. To start with, very important, you want to make sure your room temperature is around 70 to 75 degrees, if not higher. If you do anything less than 70 degrees, you're not going to make it successful. Let's talk about a few things you need. You need an arrow squaring device like this, which are APS. First of all, you make sure you square all the arrow ends and your carbon insert tube. In this case, we're using three and a half inch. The next thing you want to concern is that you make sure that all your inserts and your inner tubes are deep cleaned. When I say deep cleaned, this is what I mean. Using a tweezer, hold your insert and try not to touch it. Dip it and then drop it and not to touch it again with your bare hand. Ideally, you wear a latex glove with it. Since I'm doing a video, it'll be difficult to do. Next thing, you want to deep clean all the tubings. And when I mean deep clean, this is what you do. You grab this. Dip into it, come out, and then wipe it. You can see we just did this barely a dozen of the dip tubes, and this is that dirty. All right, after that is done, we're going to show you how to mix everything together and how to build. Now for the supplies, I use heavy-duty aluminum foil. I usually use about a foot and a half of aluminum foil. You do not want to use paper or plastic plates because those are not ideal for mixing epoxy because they can take away the resin portion. Okay, after you double it, this is what you do. You mix the resin on the epoxy. First of all, this is the, you can see the white color is the resin. I usually use no less than two cc because anything less than that is hard to ensure that you mix the right quantities. Now, how do you mix them? It's very critical. You want to make sure you do not use any other tools except material that have no other substance on it. And so far, I found out the best is this kind of called craft sticks. You can get them in Walmart on the craft section. They are very cheap. A buck something, you can get a whole bag of 50. Now when you mix them, you want to mix them thoroughly so that everything is mixed together and the color is turning white. Now a lot of people ask me, how come aluminum is so good for mixing epoxy? Because aluminum will create heat as most epoxy will get out heat. By having more heat, the epoxy will dry too fast. So let's put it together. Now I'm going to do my first one. I put the epoxy onto the first shoulder, which is right here. Then I put my inner tube. All right, now you see there's a little bit smudge over here, which is totally fine. Now I'm going to put the epoxy right here. See, only on the top side. Try not to go over. Now all these tubes are already, this is the main arrow section. Make sure you do not get the two sides mixed up. I deep clean this already. Now look at what I'm going to do. I'm going to barely touch it on. Now this is the most important part. Bring it up and slowly push it down. See the formation of the donut? Okay, now at this point, what I would do is that I'll pick up the second tube and wipe the epoxy off it. Push it all the way down. And see how clean that is? Then you can clean it further. Okay, the first arrow done. Now see the, with the epoxy up here. I'm going to use the epoxy to put a little bit on the second insert. I'm going to put a little bit more because it's not enough. Make sure you put enough, otherwise they won't go on right. Okay, you see this part right here? You can wipe it off and start doing the second one. Now, second arrow going in. Now, the moment you turn it in, make sure you horizontally push. Don't sideways push. The donut will not form correctly and the glue will not, will not surface correctly. Now, using the second tube, wipe off the excess glue. Push it all the way down. There's a second tube right there. Now, yes, you're going to have some excess glue, which is totally fine. What you can do is that, using your original napkin, clean that off. You want to make sure there's no excessive glue on each of the tube. Then I'm going to put, using this part to pick up the glue, and put extra on it. So you notice the glue is very efficiently being applied to the tube and the entire application. Now I'm going to put extra glue on the very tail end. Grab another arrow. Make sure I push it down straight and the donut is formed correctly. If there's any edge like this, see there's not enough glue here? Put some glue right there. And then slowly push the rest down. Make sure the donuts are always formed. Halfway down, pick up the peep tube. Take the glue off. Push it all the way down. It's a second tube to pick up the extra glue. Okay, third one down. Okay, pick up an insert. You notice I my hand barely touch the important parts. 
because if I do, I'll contaminate it with my oil from the hand. Next one. Now a lot of people ask me that question, if I use this method, what's the maximum length tube you can have? Now because, as you can imagine, that's supposed to be enough glue between the outer and inner tube. So with this method, we have found out, if you do all over six inches of the inner tube, you're going to need a vacuum, you're going to need a vacuum with a gluing process. As you do normally, like what I do now, as long as I don't exceed six inches, the glue will be able to cover the entire shaft with no issue. Okay, we're going to the fourth one. You see, forming a donut is very important. See, the donut is formed. Slowly push together, and then use the next tube to pick up the excess glue. Push it down, clean up with the extra. I'll go to clean this one up. Okay, you see, I'm going to pick up this extra glue right here with the next insert. And pick up the new glue on the top. Just like that, we've got half a dozen arrow done, and we'll keep on going to finish the whole dozen arrow. See, the moment you see something like this, you stop, because that part do not have glue on it. As you put more glue, you can always spread them off. But if that's not enough glue, this application will fail. Which means that when you shoot it a few more times, you will have layer separation between the inner and outer tube. And if that happened, this application is technically worthless because the arrow will no longer behave as a single unit. The entire spine, the spine <coughs> elongation process that we're doing is forcing the spine to be stronger than what it really is by inserting the inner tube in it. By doing so, we are forcing the arrow to oxidate in a, in a much slower cycle, which help the, which significantly reduce the entire arrow oxidation in the air. And that's what the arrow concept system really do. And not to mention, by doing so, we are forcing the weight of the initial front end over a much larger area, which will allow the arrow to be less FOC, which is very different from most. But this is reason the arrow concept system is so different. Now, as you may not know, the final aerovin glue is an ultra slow set epoxy, which means that the epoxy will not set for at least two hours. That means I technically have two hours of work time, but since I'm pretty good at it, you can see we are pretty much very close to finished the entire dozen arrow. Now, you notice I turn like this because I want to make sure the donut is going to form. See that? That's what called the donut. It will form around the arrow as smoothly, as accurate as possible. And I'm using the shaft to pick up all the dirt. And using this piece to pick up the first chunk. And using this to put it right here. As you can already imagine, 2cc, which makes a total of 4cc, will give you able to do around a dozen arrow using the arrow concept system. If you use full 6 inches, this will be just nice. You can see that there's very little glue left, and we just finished our last arrow, and that will finish our entire process of how to build an arrow concept system arrows. Okay, now, all these are done. You're gonna see in the very front of it, it's gonna have a glue smudge. Do not touch it. This glue have, have a 36 hour kill time. So what you wanna do is that you wanna wait this arrow for about two to three hours. So the glue at least set itself. Then you use, pass like this, with a clean, clean bottle of acetone. And you can wipe with the excess, the air will look pristine clean. 
So thank you. This is how the aero concept system was built.